The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors. With so many people living longer, the fear of outliving your money becomes a reality for many of us. Will I be a financial burden? Will I outlive my money? How will I be remembered? My name is Neil Himmelstein, president of Main Street Planning Group. Please contact me by visiting MainStreetPlanningGroup.com. That's MainStreetPlanningGroup.com or call 631-647-4694. I will introduce you to strategies that will guarantee you will not outlive your money, that can guarantee you will not be a burden on your loved ones. Through a collaborative approach, we will uncover solutions that offer tax-efficient strategies, lifetime income, and legacy planning. Choice, organization, direction, and and education. That is the code we stand behind. Contact MainStreetPlanningGroup.com. That's MainStreetPlanningGroup.com or call 631-647-4694. And listen to me every Friday at 3 p.m. as I host the Main Street Code for Financial Success right here on 103.9 LI News Radio. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I'm your host, Neil Himmelstein. I can be heard here every Friday at 3 o'clock. If you miss a show, you can always go to my website, themainstreetcode.com, and click on the radio show link or Spotify or Apple if you're in your car and you want to listen along and you can't seem to make it. I appreciate you coming and I appreciate you for listening. Well, today is a very interesting day, and I always like to begin the show by saying what our code is, which is choice, organization, direction, and education, and we help hundreds of advisors across the United States, whether they be attorneys or accountants, with their special needs with life insurance, annuities, disability, long-term care. These are the areas we specialize in. And we are like brokers, brokers. Uh, Yes, we can help you directly with your needs. um, And we certainly do. But we also are a resource to many advisors in helping them devise plans. We are completely independent. We represent 30 different insurance companies. So we're not beholden to any one uh, insurance company. Uh, Our specialty is designing programs that fit you, uh, whether it whether you have an underwriting challenge, a health situation, a financial situation, or you need a lot of insurance, um, these are specific things that we specialize in, in getting the right product to you, whether whatever product you like. Uh, we represent everybody, so and we're completely non-biased. And one of the things that we do for people, because I had somebody that reached out to me this week. Um, actually, he was doing some work around the house, and he said to me, Neil, I, I listen to your show, and, you know, I, I wish I'd talk to you sooner, but, you know, I have life insurance, and I have some investments, and quite candidly, I said to him, well, let me review what you have, because the insurance companies change. Uh, we've had several changes this year. Every year, companies are in the business. A lot of them have left the business, but the products themselves change. Um, there are a lot of new things to products, like living benefits that you couldn't get before, which meant if you become disabled or if you need some sort of long-term care that you could access the death benefit of your policy to take care of some of these needs that you have where the old policies don't accommodate that. Uh, also, interest rates have changed over many years. For many years, interest rates were very flat. But if you bought policies in the 80s, interest rates were very high, then they went very flat, and now you're older, and you have a policy that could be in trouble. So even if you have coverage, even if you have long-term care, even if you have life insurance, even if you have annuities, it pays to come to Main Street Planning Group and seek out free advice, complimentary advice to any of my listeners, anytime with no matter what your situation is, whether you're an individual or a business, uh, big or small, we, we're here to help. And if it's a legal issue and an accounting issue, or if it's a combination of issues, we can help put the right people together and, and like to work with your accountant and attorney to make sure that your plans are exactly, exactly how you like them. Well, moving on. Uh, I got my hair cut this week, but no big deal. Everybody gets their hair cut. But I had a very interesting conversation with the barber. 
and 44 years old. He's got two kids. And he asked me, he says, um, you know, I don't have a pension. I, 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 you know, listen, he had to work through COVID. He had a couple tough years, um, but he's running his own business. He's doing great. Uh, but, you know, he's got two kids. He's a wife at home. Uh, and um, I don't have a pension. He says, what's better? Should I get an IRA? Should I get a Roth IRA? Uh, what's the difference? I want to start putting some money away for me. So I said, okay, well, you know, uh, an IRA, you might get some tax deductions now. I don't know if you need tax deductions because your business is expensive. You have a lot of expenses and maybe an IRA is not the right thing for you. Um, uh, how about a Roth IRA? Well, he says, I know I have limitations on how much I can put in a Roth IRA. I said, yes, you do. And, and you know, the difference between an IRA and a Roth IRA is very simple differences. An IRA, I can get tax deductions now. A Roth IRA, I use after tax money, but the money comes in tax free later. He says, that's, that's what I want to do, but I can only put in $7,000 a year and I'm 44 now and I got to catch up. And I go, yeah, there's some limitations and you really don't have access to the money until you're 59 and a half if you want tax-free income. There are some limitations on how much you can put in and when you can take out to take advantage of that tax-free money, even though it's after tax money. Now, there are some clauses where you can get the money for other things, so it's not a bad thing. And then I said, okay, so you have no pension yet. You have no IRA. You have no Roth IRA. Uh, his investment is his business. I said, do you have any life insurance? He goes, no, I don't. And I go, so you have two children, a wife, no pension. I know you work hard and you're working 60 hours a week and cutting a lot of hair and you're doing good, but you're very vulnerable. What if ha something happens? You get sick. Where does the money come from? Well, who's going to take care of the family? What kind of disability do you have? I don't have a disability. I said, what happens if, God forbid, you're in a car accident and you pass away? I mean, what happens to your kids? What happens to your wife? Well, I mean, you know, uh, it happens. You have no life insurance. So I said, what if you could create your own pension like a Roth IRA, but you're not limited to $7,000 a year and you're not limited to to waiting till you're 59 and a half. Maybe you want to take out the money for the kids' colleges and still have some protection. And then whatever money's left over, I'm going to take out for my income later. See, this is where we create our own pensions, whether you're a business or an individual, using life insurance. Unlike an IRA, where you get tax deductions but it's taxable later and you have to wait till 59 and a half to take that money. Unlike a Roth IRA where you have limitations, okay, when, when I can take the money and how much I can put in, you can create your own pension, your own pension, tax-free pension using life insurance. And in this situation, we're gonna take care of a couple needs this gentleman has at once. So yes, he needs life insurance because he has two young kids and no life insurance. He has no pension. And yes, we can create a pension with life insurance. And that's what we're going to do. And he said, well, can I use that money for life from the life insurance cash to pay for my kids college? The best vehicle in the world. Why? Because any cash buildup inside a life insurance or IRA or Roth IRA, guess what? is not counted on the FOSA requirements when your children apply for college. It, it, there's a statement that any money sitting in a life insurance contract or my retirement vehicles do not list. So if you want scholarships, you want aid, you want this, you're not making a lot of money per se on paper, you can now get scholarships and loans and this and that. But even if not, I can tap into some of my tax-free life insurance cash that I built up to pay for college and still have the life insurance in force in case something happens to me along the way. You can't get that with a Roth IRA.
If I spend $1,000 and I can leverage a $100,000 death benefit and have that $1,000 working for me in cash, man, this is a home run. You can't do any better in creating your own pension and taking care of your family. And that's what it's all about, is creating your own pension. You don't need a business to do it, but if you have a business, it's an alternative to an IRA or a Roth IRA or some of these retirement vehicles out there. It's very tax efficient. You can create a tax-free income, a tax-free pension for the rest of your life. And if something happens to you, you can leave behind a tax-free lump sum of money so your kids can go to college and things can work for you. You're listening to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I'm here every Friday at 3. If you want to reach out to me, 631-647-4694. That's 631-647-4694. I'm here every Friday at 3 o'clock. And we'll be right back. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I'm your host, Neil Himmelstein. Um, you know, I have some great things, not just on my website, but on LinkedIn. I talk about protecting the ones you love and your future and, and all kinds of good stuff. And I also show some radio spots here. So Neil Himmelstein on LinkedIn. Check me out. Um, we got some good stuff going on. So before the break, I was talking about creating your own pension. What an amazing thing. You can create your own pension and have unlimited contributions. Not Roth IRA, IRA, you're limited to what you can do. But you can create your own pension using a life insurance program and take out tax-free money, tax-deferred money, tax-free money, no IRS involvement whatsoever, and you don't have to wait till you're 59 and a half to get it. So if you have an emergency along the way, you build up this cash bucket, you could borrow the money. As a matter of fact... We have a lot of clients that do a lot of real estate buying and selling. Now, when you're doing real estate buying and selling, and we've had shows on this, on this station where the guys are buying and selling real estate, some of the most successful guys put a lot of money in life insurance because they need to sell a property to buy the next one, but they see an opportunity. And what do they have to do? You have to go for a loan. Well, when you have a life insurance with, with cash buildup, You can borrow money from that life insurance policy without doing an application, without any time. The next day, you can have that money in your account to buy that next property. And then when you sell the other property, you pay it back. Virtually no interest, no credit checks, no nothing. And you have a lot of real estate people that use a life insurance contract to do that kind of thing. Besides putting their kids through college and using as an extra, if not solely, retirement vehicle, as well as protection for their family. There's no better product in the world that can do all these things if it's structured properly and if you have the right contract. And I say if it's structured properly. And that's the key. And that's why you call us at MainStreetPlanningGroup.com, 631-647-4694, because we can tell you how to structure your private pension so that you can be your own banker. Be your own banker. How do the big boys do it? Did you know John McCain, when he was running for president, borrowed $800,000 out of a life insurance contract to help fund his election? Look it up. It's all true. And then he paid the money back when he got contributors. And this is a very common thing that the very wealthy use. Why can't you be one of the wealthy to use this? This is an incredible tool. Flexible contributions. You can alter your contributions. You could not pay one year. That was a big question, too, for the people in business, the the barber I was speaking to. Can I not pay one year? Yes, as long as you have enough money to support that life insurance, no problem. You could stop paying for five years. You could put in money later. You can put, there are limitations to how much you can put in only by the amount of insurance you have. That's the only limitation. You can't just all of a sudden buy more insurance because they do have to question you regarding your health to make sure that you're covered. So sometimes we we use these plans for college planning and still maybe the life insurance is not enough. So maybe we'll supplement it with a term policy. So we'll have a term policy to take care of some of the death benefit 
and we'll have this cash value policy so that we have two things. So that by the time the kids get to college, we're going to use the cash. We'll still have the life insurance. You want to make all these things work for you and disability along the way and to make sure you're covered. These are very, very, very important things. So even if you have life insurance, even if you have investments, it pays to come to us to review what you have. Do you have the right kind? It changes all the time time. The products change. They've been updated three times this year. We've had companies that have left the state of New York and have left the business entirely. Who would ever think MetLife would no longer offer life insurance? For any of you who've been around, MetLife is an institution. They still have MetLife Stadium, but they're not offering life insurance anymore. They were the largest life insurer in the world at one point, but you can't buy their insurance in the United States anymore. MetLife, ING, can't buy their insurance anymore. They went out of the insurance business. So if you're sitting with these MetLife or ING policies, are they going to be around for you down the road? You really have to take a look at them. People buy insurance and they set it and they forget it. They, I hate to talk about Ron Popeil, you know, if, for those of you who remember Ron Popeil, set it and forget it. That's what people do in their financial planning and it doesn't work. They put their policies in a drawer and they forget about it. I can't tell you how many calls I get every month from attorneys. Hey, uh, uh, my client's dad died and he didn't know if they had life insurance or he did or he didn't. He had it in a drawer. We thought he had policies. Maybe they lapsed. Maybe they didn't. Nobody kept up with it. Which reminds me of something else that I've been running into an awful, awful lot. And that is, if you bought an annuity in the past, and you're making 1% or 2 or 3%, and your surrender period's over, you've had it 5, 6, 7 years, and your surrender period's over, you can do a tax-free and no-cost exchange and make triple up to five times as much interest rate right now or income off of that annuity. So if you purchase these things in the past, you need to call us and let us look at it because you're leaving so much money on the table. We have thousands of clients that are just leaving money on the table at 1%, 2%, because they bought an annuity with the intent of this growing at a certain percent, you know, five years ago, seven years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and they're sitting at, at like, 1%, 2%, sometimes 0%. So you need to look in your drawers, find those life policies, find those annuities, and give us a call. And let us review it for you. It's so, so very important. And right now with interest rates the way they are, I don't know how long they're going to stay this high, but now is the time to quadruple. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're sick or old or young. We can help you. It doesn't matter what your age, we can help you with looking at, at these annuities. And, 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 and now's the time to do it. Now's the time to take advantage of the interest rates, not sit back and go, oh, you know, the cost of things is higher. By the way, food prices have come down the last two months. Very interesting. A lot of different food prices have come down. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. Um, but there's a million reasons why. But um, So that's a good sign. A good economic sign I heard on the way in today. I was very excited to hear that cost of eggs has gone down. I know there was an aviary flu that created chicken prices to go way up and processing way up, and that affected the cost of eggs, the cost of chickens. Uh, pork is going down in price. Um, so if you're having a Mother's Day barbecue or something like that, now might be the time to check out your grocery stores and get some bargains and load up with the, some goodies. Well, you're listening to The Main Street Code, and we are specialists in life insurance planning, long-term care planning, disability planning, and annuity planning. And I can't tell you enough, if you're sitting with an old annuity or you have a pension that you haven't done anything with and it's just sitting there, or you're worried about the market, okay, I'm worried about the market, I'm worried the market's going up, the market's going down, and you want to lock in rates of four or five, you know, percent, now's the time to do it. Or if you want to hedge your bets and buy an annuity that has 
an upside potential of 10%, but a downside potential of 2% or 2.5%, we have, we have the products that can do that for you so you don't have to take all the risk of the market. If you're retired, why absorb? Why have all your money on the, in the risk bucket? Yeah, we understand that you want to have investments in stocks and this and that, but you can't afford the risk. If you can't afford the risk, you shouldn't be in the market. Now, some of your money should be in the market for growth. But if you can't afford the risk, you need to call us. You're listening to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I can be reached at 631-647-4694. Have a happy Mother's Day, everybody, and a wonderful weekend. Thanks for listening, and I encourage you to give me a call. Love to hear your comments and thoughts. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you. Views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors.